Welcome to the Okawa Classic here on Sportsnet, USA.net. Albert Robles, myself, Mark Pavlovich, Noah Alvarez on camp, camera today as we bring you the Moore Park Raiders against the Mission Saints, our first game of today. Starting five for Mission will be Neely, Cruz, Hokobo, Natoa, and Hamilton. As Mission ends up getting the ball. Quickly, Neely passes it off. Go down deep. Can't control it. Let's look at that Moore Park team. Starting for Moore Park will be Sadoff, Dylan, Orozco, Mew, and Abazuka. Quick fast break. Sadoff from the corner for three. Bounces off. Set up again. Going down low, flicks it over, back over the corner. Bounces, Sadoff comes away with the rebound, spins. Quick little pop from there, 15 feet out. So the Raiders get on the first board with Orozco getting two up there. Drive to the basket, blocked by Sadoff from the back. Flip out from 22. Notoa tries to make the shot, can't do that. Bounces away, scrum for the ball. Taken there by Mew, Mew gets it up quickly out to Dillon. Sadoff from the wing, can't handle it. Taken down there easily by Hampton. Hampton clears it out, fast break, all the way up and in on the end. Hakoba makes it a 2-2 game. Pressure. By Mission. Moore Park breaks it easily, comes up, three on two, fast break, down low. Can't make the shot there, trying to pull it off was Dylan. Can't do it, fast break, going the other direction. All the way, nobody's got to step in front. No foul called on play, and we're gonna get an out of bounds. I thought maybe Cruz got hacked on that one, Albert. It looks to be that she was making that case arguing. It looks like Katie Mew was right in her face, and it looks like that foul has been granted. Into the game is Misha Loomis. So Loomis now in the game for Moore Park. Taken up fast by Dillon. Dillon who liked to shoot a lot last time. Couldn't just Orozco over to Sadoff. Back over to Orozco. Top of the key, stops and pops in and out. Heartbreak shot. Pulled down there by Natoa to start the break. Drops it off to Neely. Neely goes down low. Ball gets fumbled out of bounds. So with 7.28 to go, we're knotted up at two. Well, teams have started off as coldly as I have here on the air. Pressure again, comes from Mission. Quick break taken down there, Loomis. Takes a little stroll down through the park. I think maybe she was looking at the sunshine out there on these wet, rainy days. Brought up by Neely. Nice stop and pop for Rizzo for three. She was hot the other night, Albert Robles. You talked about the way she shoots. And keeping that momentum from behind downtown, sinking another three point shot. Fast break, missed underneath one more time. So easy layups. Missed by the Moore Park Raiders as they're trailing by three. Quick little dive from the basket, a hip. They're gonna call a hip on Sadoff. Thrown up there by Neely, and Neely tries to get it up there, and then Sadoff just gives her a little hip underneath. They're gonna call the foul there. 
Yeah, slight incidental contact, but they're going to call blocking on side off for a first foul of the game. First one's made by Anna Neely. Six to two. Mission out to a quick start here. Makes that two in a row, seven to two. Here comes the pressure one more time. Gives yeah. it to Dylan. Dylan gives it back up the middle. Sadoff gets it over on the far side. Drives to the basket and drops it in. A great two point shot from Sadoff and a good job by Moore Park to actually get that offensive pound. Because I just saw yesterday, Mission College bringing heavy defense against these Raiders right now. Try to go down low. Mission can't do it. Orozco comes away with it. Starts that break again. Drops it off to Dylan. Dylan throws it up, can't do it. Gets knocked out of bounds. And Mission will hold on to control. Galindo now in the game. We'll reset that five in a second for you. Jacobo brings it up. Rosa. We'll see if it's on the ground or if it's going to be. So the foul is going to be against. Sadoff. Looks like so, they're calling a little bit of a push on Sadoff. And they're calling it on the ground, too. So Sadoff comes out. Deep three, in and out. Nice rebound underneath, little turn, no foul on that for Hampton. So Hampton makes a great stop and coming down. Big drive to the basket all the way, dishes off. Nice dish and it can't go in once again. An easy basket missed by the Moore Park Raiders. All alone for three, can't do it so far. Everybody's come stale. It's like day old bread. Nobody can find that right place to put it up. Moor Park looking for some help. Ball gets knocked away by Neely. Taken out of the air by Loomis. Loomis dishes off. Orozco now will set up the offense. Flips it over to Mew. Mew goes back down. In the corner. Nice little dish and made. Right there, that's Roscoe comes up with the big points. Seven to six. So the Raiders slowly getting back into it. Nice drive there by Neely, stopped. Sweet dish underneath to Hokobo, and we get a quick timeout by Kenny Plummer. Not Nine to six with 4.37 to go. And not the strongest of shots there from Neely. Luckily, Jacobo was able to come up and put it in the board. Kenny Plummer, the coach for the Raiders. And Corey Caffarata, or Rata, like he said it. Caffarata. Caffarata. Coach for the Mission Saints. Of course, you look at Moore Park. They were favored to be the number one team in the state of California till they lost their star player to an injury. And a substitution here for Moore Park and Nia Hutchins, number 11 coming in for the Raiders, as well as 42 Falcokia. Falcokia now Falcokia. in, big player for the team. Had a great night the other night. Three pointer from deep by Martinez. Martinez just goes deep and says, you know what, I can shoot as well as Corey Nalen. And that's exactly what she does. Saints looking for some answer. Cruz goes to the basket and gets mugged on her way to the store. And a wonderful solution for Martinez. If you can't lay it up, shoot it from downtown. Hit it that way. Bring it back in. Koba over to Martinez. Koba from deep. 
Going long for a three-pointer. Mission up by three, 12 to nine. Fast break, little flip of an angle. Can't get it to drop for Martinez. Back to the other end. Nice little drop off there by Jacoba. Drive to the basket, can't make it on her own was Hampton. A little foul on Falcokia. Mission College doing what they were doing last night, swarming all over these Raiders players. Falcokia drawing that foul. Skyler Dillon comes back in the game. So Dillon and Mew, the backcourt. Martinez, the frontcourt. Falcokia, the center for the Raiders right now. Goes over to Martinez. Martinez goes cross coat, gives it to Mew. Mew goes back over to Hutchins. Falco Kia goes down low. So Falco Kia, low post turns and scores two. And Falco Kia makes that play look so easy compared to the rest of her team. Cruz brings it up, drops it off. Kicks it out to Galindo. Galindo goes down in the corner. Cruz comes up, turns, gets her own rebound, kicks it back out into the wing. Arruzzo from 15, once again in the right place at the right time, is Cruz to put it up. 14 to 11 with 2.31 to go in the first quarter. Falco Kia goes down low, so Falco Kia has been active down low right now for the Raiders. Into the game is going to be Mo Natoa for a mission. Falco Kia to the line. Comes up short on the first free throw. Comes up short on both of them. Cruz directing traffic. Serzo one more time, can't do it. Falco Kia with the rebound. Quickly gets it out to Skylar Dillon. Cross all the way up and under, can't make it, but that was Mew driving to the basket and gets fouled on the play. So Caden Mew to the line, the point guard for this Raiders team, knocks down the first one at the charity stripe. Mew makes the first one, backs it up with the second one. Once again, two point game. Neely brings it up, tries to go deep in the corner. And Skylar Dillon does that exactly. She skies to knock it down. Doing her best to intercept that pass, but unfortunately knocks it out of bounds, gives it right back to Mission. Lindo brings it in, drops it off to Neely. Neely trying to find some place to go. Goes down low, no room for Natoa, who misses it. Skylar Dillon on the fast break brings it up. We get a force out, or are they gonna say she stepped on the line? So they're gonna say she stepped on the line. So Natoa brings it in, fast break, brings it back up, Neely's got it. Back over to Natoa. Goes down on the wing, trying to find there, back to Natoa. Natoa goes underneath. Up and under. Dylan comes away with the ball. Goes to a Roscoe. Flings it across court. Gives it to Sky. Dylan. Dylan goes up. Lays it in for two. Skylar Skylar Dylan looks to have finally solved her layup problems. Her first attempt didn't have enough on it. And her second attempt afterwards seemed to have too much. This one was just the right touch. Cruz. Goes down low, turning that time and actually making it is Mo Natoa. 
quickly back down the court all the way to Martinez. Martinez can't get it. Skylar Dillon turns up and under again. Can't make that move this time around. And it gets knocked out. 49 seconds to go. Down to a one point game in the game. Dulce Hokobo comes back in the game. Loomis comes in. So Loomis back on the floor for the Raiders. Cruz, little stutter step, drives to the basket, finds the lane, and is going to get caught with a hip. And I think they're going to call Falcokia again with a hip on the play. You, you get that puzzled look on that play. I don't know what they saw there because like Gianna Falcokia Falco was just standing there. She didn't intentionally make any contact. If anything, I saw a charging uh, there on Cruz, but apparently the size differential is going to go against Falco Kia on that call, which I don't agree with. So with 35 seconds, a little referee controversy going on with Albert Robles. Drive to the basket, and I he gets called for the grab on that. Orozco will bring it in. Sadoff from the wing, in and out, heartbreak shot. Roscoe with the quick hand steals it. Ponytail in the wind when she goes after the ball. Hutchins turns the corner, gives a little needle hook on that one, doesn't get called for it. Sadoff now comes back over, Hutchins has got it. Sadoff realizes the clock's going back to Hutchins, puts it up for three, and she's got it. They've been hot from the outside when you look at this Moore Park team that was ranked number one when the basketball season started. Neely looking for somebody. Rosso, three again. Tell you what, Albert Robles, if we had to play a game of horse against that young woman, we would not stand a chance. As Hutchins goes up and gets fouled on the play. Anna Neely gets called again. So Lucas is into the game. First time we've seen her along with Jacobo. She comes into the game for a mission. So for a mission, it's Natoa, Galindo, Jacobo, Lucas. As Hutchins gets that first one down. And Arozo, those are your five for mission on the floor right now. 4.55 to go. Hutchins makes both of them. Boy, what balance Moore Park has in today's game. Everybody that touches the ball has got numbers on the score sheet. Drive underneath, up and in. What a nice little move taken there by Mo Natoa. Up and under. Skylar Dillon brings it down. Hutchins got it, far side of the court. Swings that over to Mew. Mew gives it back to Orozco. Orozco stops. In between a shot and a pass. And so Orozco just lays it off. Back to Mission. Mission tries for him deep. No possibility. Kenny Plummer's working his team out there. And Albert, I tell you what, Plummer's very involved in today's game. Very vocal. When he doesn't see what he likes, he lets you know about it. When he sees what he likes, he lets you know about it. There you go. <laughs> Mew's got it. Goes down to Falco Kia. Over to Orozco. Gets somebody to leave her feet. Tries to give it to Falco Kia, crashing. Off her hands. Mew fakes it. In and out. Taken out of there, Mission brings it down. 3.42 left in this first half. Off the foot, trying to find. Skylar Dillon's got it. Should she take it home herself? She tries, up and under, and she does. End to end for Skylar Dillon. A sweet layup from the right-hand side for Skylar Dillon. Seems to be her left-hand side is her weak point. So 3.18 to go, Mission's in a deep hole. They've got to find some offense. 
off the side of the backboard. No rim on that, or Roscoe comes away with it. Roscoe quickly down today. It's been speed. Deep shot, not taken. Cleared there by Mission. And Mission needs to find a little more balance in their offensive attack. Drive, turn, up, hanged on to. Kobo tries to get to the basket, gets fouled on the play. So it's going to send her to the line, and maybe now Mission can start it with a couple shots from the charity stripe. Into the game is Martinez, along with Loomis. So it's going to be Martina, Loomis, Dylan, Falco Kia, and Mew on the floor for the Moore Park Raiders. Meanwhile, Jacobo hitting one of two. And she backs it up with a deuce. Dylan brings it up. Goes over here to Loomis. Loomis gives it back to Mew. Mew sets things up. Goes to Falco Kia. Over to Mew. Goes down low to Dylan. Stolen right there. Quick break by Mission. Trying to get it out. Galindo was by herself and not seen on the play. Stolen by Dylan the other direction. Beautiful bounce pass. A little too far outside of the reach of Martinez. And unfortunately, back-to-back -back bad passes by Dylan there. She made a bad pass to Falco Kia, which got Robin taken the other way. Luckily, she stole it right back, only to cough it up yet again. Cruz now on the floor for Mission. So the Saints will set that line up for you in a second. Neely tries to go down low to Not Notoa. And she dribbles it off her own foot. So it's going to stay with Moore Park. So a little pressure going on here. So Cruz, Neely applying the pressure. Galindo is there. Fast break, Mew comes up, nobody picks her up. Goes over to the corner, goes down to Falco Kia, tries to and she gets a little traveling on that one, but it was really stopped by good defense by no Mo Notoa. A yeah, great defense there by Mission College forcing Falco Kia to take one more step than she actually needed to take. So Cruz goes over there to Noah Notoa. Natoa gets the ball back, goes down low, this time puts it off the board, can't finish it. And so we'll see if the pressure comes again. So pressure from Mission now. Mew's got it. Goes to Falco Kia. Gives it back to Mew. Mew goes over to Martinez. Martinez goes over to Dylan. Down to Falco Kia. She turns, throws it over. Quickly taken out. Mew's got it. Clock's getting counted off. Goes over in the corner to Martinez. Martinez tries to make it, can't. Dylan tries to put it up, gets her own rebound. Tries to put it up again and slides it through the sliveriest of holes to get a basket on the play. And a great offensive sequence there by the Moore Park Raiders. You can hear their coach being very vocal in stop and pass, any chance it can get. Clearly they want to influence ball move to create separation and the players can open up a, uh, a good drive to the basket. So Lucas gets the ball for mission, goes down, takes about four steps before she throws it up. So the ball quickly goes back to Moore Park. Dylan going down, ball gets fumbled out of bounds. Kenny, Kenny woke up today. I guess I guess uh, Tuesdays are his better day. As you can hear, Kenny trying to get his team to run. So Hampton comes back in the game, and we're going to get a 30-second timeout with 38 seconds to go. It's Moore Park 41, Mission 30, here at the Okawa Classic at East L.A. College. Albert Robles, Noah Alvarez, and the old guy sitting next to him. Well, Albert, you got to look at this game. Once again, like yesterday, the first game went 
very fast. Next thing we knew, the first half was over. Seems like that in this game today, too. With the way that Moore Park has been playing offensively, it seems that Mission College, who plays a great defense, seems to be a little gassed out from yesterday and can't quite keep up. We hear a lot of you know vocal going on from the Raiders coach. Even though they're in the lead, he still wants to make sure that they're playing aggressively and not giving Mission College any inch to work with. Well, considering that he lost his best player and he's trying to find an identity for this Moore Park team, which has won back-to-back -back championships, Coach Plummer expects that again this year. Coach Plummer coached over at Oaks Christian, had a successful career there with the women's basketball team, passed on a lot of those high school players to Division I basketball. Mew from the corner. Ow. So Caden Mew, everybody's hot right now at Moore Park. Mission trying to find an answer to it. Mission looks for a three themselves, can't get it. And so Mission can't get Neely heated up like they did the other day. Neely's not getting Sadoff now, the top of the key. Gives it to Mew, Mew says, well I made one, I can make two. Sadoff gets a little touch grab. And that's going to bring us to the end of the first half. As we come to the end of the first half, it's Moore Park 44, Mission Saints 30, here at the Okawa Classic on Sportsnet, USA.net. Albert, take a look at the first half. I mean, you've already talked about how Moore Park was, but overall, the first half was played. I thought a pretty well played first half by basketball. So Moore Park comes on here for the second half. Up by 14. Missions will take the ball out. Cruz on the court along with Hokobo. And Natoa over to Neely. Neely, little hook shot, can't get it. Neely follows her own shot and makes it. Neely wakes up offensively and we talked about that. Also, Santa Hannah. Hampton is number the fifth player for missions on the floor. We'll get the five from Moore Park in a second. Quickly clearing the board as Natoa brings it up. Neely tries to feed it, doesn't get it. Taken by a Roscoe, coming up. Has that knocked away. Skyler dealing to Mew. Mew from about 12, can't get that one. Shot up, knocked out of bounds, and we're gonna get a foul in the play. So the five for Moore Park. Sadoff, Mew, Orozco, Dillon. And number five. Correction, that would be on Arbazua. Haven't seen a lot of her in this game tonight. And Grass with a little bit of a correction on the fouls there. Because initially they put it on Sadoff, and she's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> I clearly wasn't even there. That's, that's one way to help the other team win a game. Is Abba Zoa. Zoa makes it. Cruz over in the corner trying to get it to Neely. Turn up and under. Taken away. Skyler Dillon's got it. Dylan brings it up, gives it to Sadoff. Sadoff drops it in the corner. Mew's got it there. Stops again. Abrazua out back to Sadoff. Over to Orozco. Orozco from 12, can't get it. Taken out of the air by Natoa. Throws it over to Neely. Neely goes down low. Nice little spin move right there by Hokobo, and she gets fouled on the play. So, Abazua gets the foul. Natoa. Hokobo at the line. Gets him, Sadoff brings it in. Mew. Slides her foot and throws it almost out of bounds. 
Saved by Sadov to Dillon. Back down to Orozco. Underneath, nice little field to Dillon. The passing is sharp for Moore Park tonight. Coach Plummer's got to be happy. Cruz tries to go behind her back, gets it, picks it back up. Goes to Neely. Neely now. Neely is woken up in the half. Smooth mechanics from Neely on that jump shot for two. Roscoe brings it up, directs traffic. Tries to go to the top of the key. Gives it to Mew. Mew looking for an opening. Moving the ball around the key again. Mew is open in the far corner. Nobody sees her. Sadoff now goes over there. Sadoff from the corner, can't pull it down. Fought for it, Dillon goes for it. It's gonna be out of bounds. Out of bounds to the Saints. So Kobo ends up getting it. So Arezzo, the three point machine is back in for the Saints. Let's see as soon as she touches the ball if she puts it up. Kobo gives it to that three point shooter. Back across court to Neely. Down low. Fought for, try to put it up, it crawls in. So Natoa takes it away and crawls it in. Mew has got it. Tries to give it to Dylan. Dylan's foot on the line, it gets out. Falcokia now comes back in. Barzua goes to the bench. Neely brings it up. High sky, not close by Hakobo. Try to get it, put it up again. Neely pressing the defense. She's gonna get called for a foul. So she was right on a Roscoe's hip, sort of like a ride share day, and uh, gets called for the foul. <laughs> Sadoff brings it in. Sadoff's got that short Ryan Osborne hair, hairstyle. Over to Mew, Mew knocks it down for three. Neely trying to find something going up. Neely's looks to get something. Three point machine, hasn't taken one back in. Neely gets it again, Neely puts it up from 12. Gets air and just a really sweet play by Hokobo off of Sadoff. So it looked like it was going out of bounds. And that was Natoa who made that play. Roscoe brings it up. Stops, goes all by yourself as Falco Kia underneath. And you gotta really love the ball movement that Orozco is capable of. On the previous possession, she had the ball in the, in the deep far corner had a little pump fake move driven for the bounce pass, and they got an easy two that way. And of course, see another bounce pass to Falco Keon just now. Moore Park takes it again. Falco Kia drives, can't get it. Finally gets, are they gonna call a foul on the play? They do, they call a foul on Duce Hokobo. End of the game is going to be Hampton. And that's the third personal foul on Dulce today. Falco 
You've said that she's been short on every one of her free throws in this game. She makes, makes that, that one. one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to ask you why, and then she makes it. Well, free throw shooting isn't an easy thing, as you know, Mark. It's not just as it's not a simple thing as just shooting the free throw from the line. It's a very rhythmic and rep and repetitive action. So if your mechanics aren't right, you're gonna miss your shots. So up and down the court, nobody can score. Mission's got it again. Mission down by 16 with 4.34 to go here in the third quarter. And so you go down low, try to find some space for yourself. Sienna Hampton turns on it and gets fouled on the play and gets bailed out, but she's going to get to go to the line. Misses her free throw. So Hampton, Natoa, Arozo. Three of the five on the floor for Mission. Moore Park brings it up. Mew with the ball, setting up the offense, directing traffic. Goes over to Roscoe. Roscoe tries to go down low and does. Oh, she threads it through the forest for an easy layup for Dylan. Dylan finding that left-handed touch on that pass there. So Mission trying to find some magic. Gives it off to Galindo. Galindo, back to the top of the key. Tries to go down and fight for it. We're going to get a push, and I think they're going to call that against Mo Natoa on that. So it's going to be. So back in the game is going to be Hutchins and Loomis come in for Moore Park. So to Roscoe. And Hutchins, Martinez, Loomis, and Falco Kia for the Moore Park Raiders. Cross court, down low to Falco Kia. She feeds. What a nice pass by Falco Kia. I tell you what. Everything is working for them in this game with 3.16 to go in the third quarter. When you Rozo that, brings it up. When you have that opportunity, always make an effort to make that extra pass. Shot by no Natoa gets it in. Hampton finally finishes off the play. Roscoe fakes it. Takes that over to Hutchins. Hutchins goes down the corner. Falco Kia comes out with it. Loomis has it. Loomis kicks it back out. Loomis from the wing. That comes off. Taken out of the air by Arozo. Starts a little running play. Maybe Missions will pick up the pace right here. She turns the corner. Tries to find some action. It gets battered away from her. Picked up there by Loomis. Loomis gives it to Roscoe, stops at 12, and it's soft. Sweet little touch, just slides it through the hole. Just about two minutes left in this third quarter, and this game is slowly slipping away from Mission College. Mission goes down low. We're going to get a little body and a bump on that. 
And they're gonna call that as Santa Hampton gets fouled on it. Cruz comes back into the game. Orozco comes out along with Falco Kia. So you can see in the few new faces from Moore Park this time down. Santa Hampton makes that. 60 to 42, two minutes to go in the third quarter. Hampton can't get number two to roll in. Ball gets taken, Missions comes up. Cross court, nice pass and a nice grab by Neely. Neely drops that off to Cruz. Cruz can't make it. Cruz and we're going to get, are we gonna get a foul on this? So they call Hutchins with a foul. And Cruz had all day to make that three. Rushed a little bit much to shoot wide right. So ball gets thrown out of bounds. Turnover to Moore Park. Orozco is out of the game now, so Hutchins is gonna lead things. Gives it to Mew. Mew back to Hutchins. Back to Mew. Back to Hutchins for three, can't do it. Ball goes in the corner. Taken by Mission. Mission runs all the way, goes up, throws it, doesn't get a call is what Cruz was looking for. Cruz can't get a break. No matter who she tries, ball is fought for, out of bounds. I thought Cruz took a, a brunt of an attack on that and should have got a foul in her direction. Ball out of bounds to the rear. Moore Park, Mew's got it, goes cross court. Nice little shot taken there by Arbuzara. Can't pull it down. Mission's trying to make up time. We get a foul on that and they're gonna call it jump and it's gonna go to Moore Park. Jump ball, possession out to Moore Park. So Loomis is on the floor from Moore Park, along with Mew, as we get. So they had a player walk on the court that wasn't waved in. And so we get a technical foul against Mission. That's made by Caden Mew. She makes both of them. So the technical foul was that a player that was not waved onto the court by the referee, Albert, it's a technical foul. But they buzzed her in, so she was confused, thinking because the buzzer went off that she could come up there. The referee has to give you permission. And now Lucas goes onto the floor. So she's checked in, but that's who they called the technical on. And I'm not going to say it was her mistake. And now we see the first zone defense in this game, which we haven't seen by either of these teams. Mission goes into a zone defense. Go over to Loomis. Loomis kicks it out. Three point. And that's all you have to do is give it to Mew, and Mew drops it down with a minute to go. So as we head into the fourth quarter, it's Moore Park, 65, Mission 42, here at the Okawa Classic on SportsnetUSA.net. Albert Robles, Nova, Nova, I'm gonna call him Nova, because he's in the air. Not Noah, he's Nova. You know, that's like those things that you see that, you know, whew, fly through the sky. So that's Nova 
Alvarez flying above us. And the old guy sitting at the table. He's like a shooting star up there. That's why that's Nova Alvarez, not Noah Alvarez. It's really Noah, but you know. The heck, maybe he goes home tonight and he's got a, he's got a new moniker going on. You know? So, hey, how was the ride home for you last night? A little wet. Was it? Okay. Wet. Shouldn't be tonight. After seeing a great afternoon of basketball, it was a fun ride home. Thinking about the talented women athletes that we've had the opportunity to watch. Student athletes. As now the two teams that are playing later on tonight are heading towards the locker room. Get ready. As we walk into the fourth quarter, and it's Moore Park up by 23. Galindo drops it to Neely. Neely passes off. Back to Galindo. Neely on top. Neely loses it. Sadoff has the pass thrown to her. Bounce pass easily. Oh, beautiful play. Martinez has it dropped at her feet by Sadoff. One bounce, rhythm dribble. Easy layup for Moore Park. And so the band keeps playing for the Moore Park Raiders. Ball goes on. Neely picks it up. Goes over to Galindo. Galindo looking to find something. Drop down by Martellano. With Orozco's hand in her face. Not an easy shot to make. But Moore Park is going for the jugular right now. Roscoe back in the game, Sadoff from deep. She shot that from Downey. Give her three and maybe another area code on that one. Neely comes up. Galindo almost loses the handle. Gives it to Neely. Neely stops and slides it home. Sweet little jumper by Neely from Mission. Lindo almost steals it. Dropped off there. So Martinez thought she was dropping it off to somebody. Plumber's asking if somebody touched it. They said no. So Neely will bring it in to Galindo. Galindo will bring it up. Martellano's on the floor. And there is definitely no quitting coach Kevin Plummer. They're up by 23, and he's still fighting for every point. Santa Hampton brings down the rebound for Mission. Over to Galindo. Margolano comes over and gets it. Galindo has it again. Neely's got it. Drives towards the hoop. Gives it to Hampton. Shot away. Gets knocked out of bounds. Dylan comes back in the game. Martinez goes to the bench. Seventy to forty-seven. No look pass by Orozco. Sadoff from the corner just misses it. Dylan steals the ball, goes up, puts it in, and Dylan lays it in. Skyler Dylan is doing exactly what she's getting called to do, making those easy shots and making them look smooth. Galindo gives it to Neely. Neely back across over to Hampton. Hampton, Mar Martinello shoots away, clears everything. Quickly taken up by Mew to Sadoff in the corner. Three! Three money, baby, money! And timeout on the floor with 6.57 to go. It's the Raiders 75, the Saints 47, here on Sportsnet, USA.net. Rebecca well, Sadoff having a little bit of a game right now. I'd say the entire Moore Park team's having a little bit of a game. And, and Albert, I got, I got to go back and ask you, because the passes that are being made on this floor tonight, 
by Moore Park are just sweet, calm, and right on money. Textbook execution with their bounce passes and overall ball movement all across the floor. And great heads-up awareness by Dylan earlier in that play. Because Mission College was about to mess up the inbound. She had the awareness to see, oh, they're about to mess up that play. Was there to enter the pass? Easy layup for another two buckets. Yeah, and it's it's just been a game. I mean, her, you know, you've got to look at a Roscoe. She has just fit into that point guard position for Moore Park right now when she's not out there well. You look at Caden Mew who can take it over. She's listed as their point guard now. Uh, so is Orozco. Both of them are point guard slash guards. There might be a hybrid guard is what Corey Nealon might say. Orozco said, wait a minute. She counted for a second and said, wait a minute. She figured they could just play with four. So Coach Plummer said, no, no, let's be fair. Let's keep five on the floor. Kobo back in the game. Russo for five, doesn't get it. Fight for the basketball. Hampton takes it away, gives them another opportunity. We're gonna get a push on the floor and we'll see who that's gonna be against. Apparently they're gonna call the push on Cade and Mew. So nice little inbound pass, just a no look past the Neely. Neely just puts it up there. And so Neely's been the one consistency for a mission. She's, when we said struggled, it's struggled from the fact that nobody's helped her get any open shots tonight. Roscoe goes around the key, looks for the ball, ball goes on the ground. Everybody tries to get it, comes out with Dulce Kobo, flips it over. Neely tries to put it up, can't. Fought for right there, taken by Natoa. Natoa tries to put it up, can't get the opportunity. And Orozco was dribbling literal circles around this Mission College offense. Falco Kia at the free throw line, refuses to take the shot. Dylan's got it, gives it to Sadoff, who says, I'll try anything right now. Fought for underneath, taken by Orozco. Caden Mew says, I've got it. That doesn't come down. Santa Hampton brings it up quickly, deals it off to Okobo, goes underneath, can't get it. Hampton comes after the rebound, can't get that for mission. Sadoff from 40 feet out. Stops for a second. She says, watch this, I can Missed the shot, almost make the shot. I look like Candace Parker on that one. A little bit of contact there, but clean and incidental. No foul called. Santa Hampton goes in, can't get the shot, goes out to Neely. Neely drops it off to Okobo, drives the basket, can't get it. Hampton gets it, throws it over the top. Once again, taken over there by Skylar Dillon. Sadoff says, there it is, Candace Parker, I'm dropping it home. And so with 4.34 to go, we get a 30 second timeout on the floor. With 30 second timeout on the floor, it's the Raiders 78, the Saints 49, here on Sportsnet, USA.net. Well, it's been a showcase for a team that was ranked as number one in the state, dropped down to number four, and I guess all of a sudden, the only thing you need to do is go over to talk to Coach Plummer and say, hey, what's happened to your team? Why why aren't they where they are? I guess Coach Plummer, what? I don't think I insulted him. Maybe I inspired him? Maybe, but definitely something has come alive within these Moore Park Raiders today. And definitely one of the highest scoring games you've seen so far in our showcase. Yeah, exactly. And they've been playing very good defense too. So here's where, as we get a foul in the play. Next time they set up defensively. Okay, because I want to swear they were getting ready to set up in a zone defense. I've got to see this because if they do, I'm going to take my head set off real quick after this game and go trot over to Coach Flummer and say, wait a minute, 
You told me you don't play zone defense. Both free throws miss. Up trying to get it. Santa Hampton fought for underneath. Neely grabs it. Give it to the three point machine. Can't get the bounce for Mission. Up again. Mission on their fifth try. Can't get it. We're going to get a push in the back. And they're going to call that against Mission as Mona Toa gets it. Yeah, first personal foul for Moe and Toa. And I call her Mo. I should be Moe. I'm sorry. I apologize to her family. Sadoff fakes it, gives it to Dylan. Dylan comes around the corner. Sadoff for three. Can't get it. Video. Elax coming over and looking at the voice of Elax Sports and going, is this live? I wanted to say, yes, that's the man you talk to right there. Neely takes it down by herself, drives, puts it up left-handed, just a little short, and then we're going to get a foul with 3.39 to go. And we'll see if it stays home or if we're going to the other end of the court. As Sadoff, who has had a brilliant game today for the Raiders, comes out. And Gabby Abuzua, Abarzua. Abarzua. Want to make sure I try to get her name right. Abarzua is what it is. Comes in the game. Hutchins goes to set things up. Hutchins goes down to Arbazua. Arbazua tries to turn, goes up and underneath, can't get it, fights for the ball, ties people up. Let's see who's got the jump tie. Oh, they call a foul on, so Arbazua gets a call against her with 3.15 to go. Galindo brings it up again. Hampton on the floor. Gets knocked out of bounds. Neely, Hampton, Galindo. Molly Arizzo on the floor for a mission. Galindo's got it. Wing, high flyer, can't get it. Sienna Hampton comes away with the rebound. Arizzo fights for it, brings it up, keeps it herself. She shoots for it, gets blocked on the shot. So we'll give Loomis a block in the game. Hampton brings it in. Glindo's got it. Rizzo goes down low. Turn, shot. Neely can't get it. Pressure coming down there. Skyler Dillon gets it. Flings it over to Martinez. Martinez for three. The big M. So Martinez gets it on there. 81 to 49. We get a little traveling on that. So Lucas comes back in the game. Cruz, the top of the key. Throws it out of bounds. Driving quickly is Loomis. Loomis puts it up, has it taken away. Quickly taken down is Cruz. Cruz fights for it. Skylar Dillon takes it out. Skylar Dillon, <laughs> Skylar Dillon falls on the ball, lays there, and looked like Tom Brady on a fumble and said, don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me. Let me look around, it's clock ticking. Don't touch me, don't touch me. And you finally hear Kenny Flummer yell, tie him out, because it was like she was just laying there. 
as we're at a minute, 58 seconds to go. Moore Park, 81, Mission 49 here on Sportsnet, USA.net. You know, if that was Tom Brady laying on the ground, there'd have been three penalties on that play because somebody actually stared at him a little bit too long. <laughs> And of course, you know, I, I I talked about it. I mean, the way the girls are playing, I should have used the Shiro Miller reference in there, the way they shot free throws uh, for Moore Park today. Of course, I brought up Candace Parker, some of the greats that have played women's basketball. In the Miller family, if Corey Naylor was here and he was to talk about Reggie or Cheryl Miller, he would tell you point blank, the best basketball player in the Miller family, Cheryl Miller. No doubt about it, one of the greats of all time out of USC. Dylan's got it, flips it over to Hutchins. Hutchins takes her time, looks for Lewis. Goes down to Gabby. Gabby gives it to Dylan on a give and go. What a great cut from the top of the key and a beautiful bounce pass to Dylan to just add to that lead. Big shot out, fought underneath. Zero almost gets the block. All the way down, easy layup for Loomis. And the passing game, the running game, the defense is working today. Mission goes up. Tied up down there is Lucas. Lucas tries to control it. Lucas gets it taken away, thrown over here. Trib all the way, laid up. And once again, the bounce passes are doing it as Hutchins gets on the board too with 52 seconds to go, 87 to 49. Moore Park looks like they're getting their mojo back as they get ready for conference play. Mission goes down low. Gives it over. Taken right there by Galindo. Galindo's trying to find something. Gives it to Lucas. Lucas goes back out to Galindo. And the ball gets knocked out of bounds. And we get timeout. So Mission takes a 30 second timeout. So Lucas, Natoa, Hampton, Jacoba, Galindo, Neely, Cruz, Martellano have played good basketball today, but they just happened to run into a buzzsaw that happened to be Moore Park. Yeah, you know, Moore Park firing on all cylinders pretty much this entire game. As we know before, they started off slow, but as the game progressed, just ramping it up little by little and keeping their foot on the gas, never once letting up. Cruz tries to get the shot away before the shot clock runs out. Can't do it. We're at 20 seconds to go. Hutchins is just going to hold the basketball. Gets across the line before the count. Shot clock turned off. Gives that to Martinez. She's going to dribble it out as we come down to the end of the game. This game's going to come to a massive conclusion as Moore Park walks away with a gigantic win. 87 to 49 over the Mission State here at the Okawa Tournament on Sportsnet, USA.net. Don't forget, stick around. We've got another game coming right after this as we finally get to see the host team of Okawa Tournament here again take on College of the Canyons on Sportsnet, USA.net. This game, it was all Moore Park, 87, Missions 49. Albert Tell you what, we saw a game that was a lot of fun, but it was all Moore Park, and unfortunately for Missions, they couldn't really do anything 
to just stop that tide of the offense from Moore Park. They really could. I mean, this game turned into a laugher very quickly in the second half. And a lot of times, like, you know, those games can, you know, get a little boring. Sometimes you stop paying attention. But the way that Moore Park was playing, even though with had a gigantic lead, they made themselves worth watching with the way they executed their ball movement, their bounce passes, their three-point shooting. Everything worked for them that entire second half. And Mission College simply could not find the answer to their problems. Well, I think the thing that was fun about this game, too, for me, is that you see the rankings and you get, okay, Moore Park's ranked number one. Then you watch them play yesterday. Yeah, they won yesterday. They ended up beating College of the Canyons. But you sit there and you go, Huh? How'd they get a number one ranking? Yeah, they're good, but they're, I'm not seeing anything here where I go, wow. And then you get told, oh, well, our best player got hurt. And then you go, okay, she must be something because the rest of the team was okay. Then you see this today and you go, oh, now I get it. And uh, uh, that's the thing that was fun about watching the game today. You realize why they got that number one ranking watching this. Now it's flipping over to your game, which we'll see in a little while, where it's ELAC against College of the Canyons, a coach that has won 600 games in his 29-year career. Okay, so that's an average of 20 wins a game. I'm really excited to watch this next game against ELAC and College of the Canyons to see if that East LA team is as good as you're telling me they are. That's as good as their statistics lead them to be. You know, just a little over 20 minutes away now, 5 p.m. game start's gonna be the East Los Angeles College Huskies versus College of the Canyons Cougars, just about 20 minutes away. So we finished game number one. It was Moore Park, 87. The Mission Saints, 49, here on Sportsnet, USA.net.